the sentiment I shared last week about 1Password upset 1Password users, <laughs> not surprisingly. And so I got a lot of venting on Twitter and uh, in, in direct messages. And, and I mean, and I understand. I, you know, I, I was tough on 1Password, mostly because it, it seemed that for, for, that their priorities were wrong. And that was ultimately all I was arguing with. But, you know, people don't want me to disagree with their choice that they've invested in. So I get it that people were upset. But some people sent me a link to the the technical uh, uh, disclosures that 1Password has published. And, you know, they are quite forthcoming with all of their docs. And of course, we know that's a an absolute requirement of somebody who's who, who is going to be uh, hoping to provide us with a security product if they want anyone to really make a knowledgeable appraisal. And um, I was I was impressed by that. I was impressed by their style and by their disclosure. Um, I, I remain unimpressed by just their handling of this. For example, they did a blog post with the headline, When a Leak Isn't a Leak, and referred to Dale's post, the, the, the Microsoft software guy who, who started this and who's, uh, the, the, the top of whose uh, blog post I shared last week. Uh, they did not link to it. So they didn't make it easy to go find it, but they just referred to it. And, and I got on to this from their tweet, which uh, said uh, in response to somebody else, and there was at twit was mentioned and at SGGRC was mentioned in, the, in, in, in one password's tweet response. They said, it's encrypted by Dropbox password. And it's like, oh, God, guys, okay, stop talking. You're hurting yourself. Um, you're making it worse. So apparently their argument was that, yes, the, you know, the user is responsible or some third party is responsible for encrypting the 1Password database in order to keep the metadata from being available, which is, you know, not something, you know, you don't want the company you're trusting to be delegating their, the, the, the security without making it clear. I mean, you know, their position is this isn't, this doesn't matter. This is not sensitive. And they play up the fact that the password itself is always encrypted, but you know, fine. But the whole point has been that, that metadata does matter. So, um, uh, they're now scurrying to, to fix this, to address the problem and, after three years to to move people over to the secure solution. But what I, the, the piece of information that I didn't have before that came from looking at their, the, the technical specs of the default organization is that they made a crucial original design mistake for a good reason, but it hurt them. And that was every single item in the vault is contained in a separate file. Now, their logic was that then they can use existing file sync technology to update only the file that changes. And that the changed file will just be one item. So when you, you know, change your password, that one that one item in one file will change. Something will notice some file sync, which is sort of unspecified. They just say, oh, that, you know, it'll work with file synchronization systems. Um, we'll notice that the timestamp is changed and update that one. The problem is, and, and many other people have discovered this over time, um, that sort of approach doesn't scale. And that's what bit them, is if you have 10 websites okay 10 files not a problem a couple hundred that eh, starts to be a problem a couple thousand oh my goodness um because what that means is and this is what they were saying was 
it's not so much that they have to, they would have to decrypt every file. They would have to open every file. And, and I'm often amazed when I think about the logic that a contemporary operating system has to go through to decide if the process that is making a request to open a file has the rights to do so. It's the more you know about what it has to go through, the more amazed you are that we ever actually do get a file opened because we have a, the, the process itself has a, a set of rights which are elaborate. Then um, oftentimes in, for example, a file system like Windows, you have inherited rights which inherit from the root all the way down through the tree with parent and child relationships, then on at any one of those nodes, you can over you can have individual overrides of specific privileges that affect that file and may from that point on inherit downwards, but maybe not. Anyway, I mean it's just it's unbelievable. This is what the OS has to do when you say open the file. I mean, it goes through all, and of course, we want that because we want sophisticated security support from our operating system. That's one of the main things that it offers us. But so now imagine if you have 2,000 little tiny itty bitty files and you need to search them in order to find something. So, it, the, the, and so what they've done is with the newer format, they fixed that. They've they use uh, all of each of the items has a, 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 a UUID, a universally unique identifier. And uh, the UUID format has the first digit as hex. So it's going to be a zero through nine and then a through F. So that gives them 16 different possible first digits of a UUID. And so now they have 16 files and they, they they place each item in the in one of 16 files based on the first digit of that item's u- unique identifier so they've essentially they've controlled this explosion of itty bitty files that would have that all have to be opened up and rifled through uh, and, and so that the so so they sort of have have a trade off so they they immediately divide it into one of 16 and then that can grow and in general given good random numbers all 16 files will sort of grow at about the same speed as you populate it so i understand that the problem they had unfortunately the decision they made when they had this this wrong one file per entry architecture was to speed up what happened after the file got opened rather than consolidating all those little itty bitty files which they have now finally done and as a consequence metadata got loose 